Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we'll be looking at margins and markups. These are terms that are sometimes used interchangeably, but they do not mean the same thing. And we shall see with the help of a few examples. So let's first look at some things we need to remember. For the same value of profit, markup percentage is always higher than the margin percentage. For the same percentage of profit, the value of profit using the margin is higher. What does this mean? If, for instance, I'm selling product A for 100 rand and I want a margin of 20%, and I'm selling product B for the same value, 100 rand, but I want a markup of 20%, the value of profit for the margin will be higher than the value of profit for the markup, even though the percentages are the same. That's what that statement means. And we shall see how it plays out by looking at an example. When calculating the margin, selling price is equal to 100%. When calculating markup, cost price is equal to 100%. So to get the margin, we divide the profit by the selling price. And to get the markup, we divide the profit by the cost price. That is the main difference between the two. So when we are calculating the margin, always remember that the selling price is equal to 100%. And when calculating the markup, the cost price is equal to 100%. We need to understand that clearly if we're going to do the calculations correctly. So the main difference between the two is the denominator. So when we're calculating the margin, we divide the profit by the selling price. So the selling price is the denominator. And when calculating the markup, we divide the profit by the cost price. So the cost price will be the denominator. So let's look at the first example. The selling price for a shirt is 120 rand, and the cost price is 100 rand. So from that, we know that the profit is 20 rand. What is the markup percentage? Remember with the markup, the denominator is the cost price, which is 100, sorry, which is 100 percent, yes. So the markup is 20 rand divided by 100 rand equals 20 percent. So what does that mean? The cost price is 100 percent, and the selling price will be 120 percent, because the cost price of 100 percent plus the markup of 20 percent gives us a selling price of 120 percent. So that's the thing with the markup. The markup, the selling price, is higher than 100% because cost price is 100% and we add the markup to give us the selling price. Let's look at the same example, but this time we ask the question, what is the margin? Remember with the margin, the selling price is equal to 100%. So the margin is 20 rand divided by the denominator, which is the selling price, 120 rands equals 16.67%. So what is the cost, per, the cost percentage? Well, the cost price is 83.33% because if the selling price is 100% and the margin is 16.67%, then the cost price will be selling price minus the margin, which is 83.33%. And the selling price in this case is always 100% with the margin. So from that example, we can deduce the following. For the same value of profit, 20 rand, 20 rand for both, we can see that the margin percentage is lower, like I mentioned in the notes at the beginning. So it's 16.67, and for the markup is 20%, and the cost price is 83.33% with the margin. And with the markup, the cost price is always the same, 100%. The cost, that's the cost percentage, the cost price percentage. And the selling price with the margin, the selling price percentage is always equal to 100%. And for the markup, the selling price is the cost price of 100% plus the markup which in this case is 20%, so the selling price would be 120%. So hope that has helped. But now let's look at a more complex, uh, a more complex example, but it's not difficult at all if you have understood the first one. The selling price for a shirt is 50 rand. It has a markup of 25%. What is the cost price? Remember, the cost price will be different for both the margin and the markup. So in this case, we have a markup of 25%, and they ask us what is the cost price. Well, we know that with the markup, the cost price is equal to 100%. So that means already the selling price is 120%, because the cost price is 100%, and the, sell and the markup is 25%, so the selling price will be 125%. So what is the cost price? What is the actual price? Well, the cost price is 100% that we want, Divide by 125% selling price times 50 rand, we get the cost price of 40 rand. Now remember the formula that I had mentioned 
that the denominator is the cost price but in this case we want the cost price so that is why we put 125 percent down here so that means that the markup is 25 percent divided by 125 percent times 50 rand to give us 10 rand so we can see the cost price of 40 rand plus the markup of 10 rand gives us a selling price of 50 rand like we saw at the in the example the actual example now let's look at the same example but the margin this time is 25 percent so the margin is 25 percent just like the markup was 25 percent but what is the cost price this time well we know that the selling price is 100 percent with the margin so the cost price plus the profit should give us 100 percent so that means 100 percent selling price minus 25 percent margin gives us a cost price of 75 percent so now that we know what the cost price percentage is we can calculate what the cost price is 75 percent divided by 100 percent selling price times the 50 rand gives us the cost price of 37 rand 37.5 rand that is the cost price with the margin and the margin itself is 25 percent divided by 100 percent times 50 rand gives us a margin of 12.5 rand now remember initially when i had said that for the same percentage of profit then the margin the margin uh, will be higher than the, than the markup. Remember, with the markup, we had a profit of 10 Rand, but here with the margin, we have a profit of 12.5 Rand. That is the difference between the markup and the margin. So let's look at the chart here. Remember, for the same value of profit, the margin will be lower than the markup. The markup will always be higher. So if the margin is 20%, then the markup is 25%, and so forth. The margin is 60%, the markup is 150%, the margin is 75%, the markup is 300%. You can see the higher the margin, then the higher the markup. The markup goes higher, uh, way more than the margin. So I hope that has helped with the two examples and how to calculate the markup and the margin. Always remember with the margin, the selling price is equal to 100% and the markup, the cost price is equal to 100%. That will help you understand the two terms and also understanding the denominator when calculating the margin, the, its profit divided by the selling price and when calculating the markup, its profit divided by the cost price. Hope that makes sense. Till next time. Cheers.